Welcome to this video that will walk you through unboxing, setting up, and reading UHF RFID tags with Zebra's FX9600 UHF RFID fixed reader. In this video, we will unbox and set up the reader, connect the FX9600 to the computer, give a brief overview of the FX9600's web UI or user interface, and demonstrate reading UHF RFID tags in the web UI. Let's jump in. Once you have taken the FX9600 out of the box, you will notice that this reader comes with a few pieces. The power supply, which comes in three pieces, two convenient pamphlets, one a quick start guide and the other a support pamphlet, and the FX9600 reader unit. Now that I have everything out, I'm going to clear the table so I can start plugging in and powering our RFID reader and antenna. First, I'll go ahead and connect my RFID antenna to the FX9600 via an RPTNC mail to N-type mail RFID antenna cable. I've already attached the N-type mail side to the RFID antenna that we are using today, and now I will attach the other RPTNC mail side to the FX9600. Next, I'll connect the FX9600 to my computer via an Ethernet cable. I'll plug one end into the reader's LAN slash PoE port and the other end into a computer's Ethernet port or an Ethernet wall outlet. And finally, I'll grab the FX9600's AC adapter, which comes in three parts. I'll go ahead and connect the brick to the line cord, and then connect the other portion into the brick as well. Then I'll plug in one end into this reader's power port, and the other end into a standard power outlet. Now my reader is powering up. Once your reader's status light turns green, go ahead and open a browser window and navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash and your reader's host name, which will start with the reader's model, in this case, FX9600, and end with its unique six character string. Your reader's full host name is located on the side of your FX9600 right here. I'll go ahead and input mine in now and click enter. Once the web UI opens, it asks for the username and password. Select admin for the username and the password is lowercase change, then click enter. Once the reader's web UI opens, you can see that the first page has three sections. On the far left is the main menu. In the middle is a quick summary of information about your reader. And on the far right is the help section with outline topics and subtopics. Most of these pages are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna do a quick overview of the left side menu navigation to provide a basic understanding of the FX9600's web UI. We're on the home page now, but as I click on each of these category pages, you'll notice that the help section on the right side of the page will update with information about that specific category. This is a very convenient feature that is especially useful for anyone just starting out using this web UI. I will quickly walk through each of these main categories. Status. The status page simply provides a current status of the reader with information like system clock, uptime, temperature, and memory usage. Operation statistics. The Operation Statistics page provides users with the ability to view statistics about individual read points, like read count, write count, and lock count, and has five subcategories, each with additional in-depth statistics available to view. Configure Reader As the name implies, the Configure Reader page allows users to configure reader settings with basic parameters on the main page, and more in-depth parameters are available under the two subcategories, read points and region. Read Tags as the name states, the Read Tags page is an easy way to start reading UHF RFID tags in the web UI. Communication. The communication page allows users to configure network settings like Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth connections, and has six subcategories for various additional communications. Date Time. The Date Time page allows you to set the date and time via SNTP parameters manually or via a specified time zone. IPsec. The IPsec page is for IP security settings and allows users to pair a reader with a partner via a pre-shared key. License Manager The License Manager page allows users to acquire available licenses for their Zebra FX9600 RFID reader. Change Password The Change Password page allows users to change the password for their reader's web UI. GPIO The GPIO page allows users to set the status of GPO pins and check the GPI pins status. Applications. The Applications page provides a list of installed applications on your FX9600 reader and allows you to view, install, and uninstall programs easily. Profiles. The Profiles page allows users to create and view profiles that can be configured for specific read zones, times, or other specified instances that require specific reader settings. Firmware. The firmware page displays the current version of a variety of onboard firmware, and the subcategory labeled Update allows firmware updates to be made via an FTP server or uploaded file. System Log The System Log page is a simple interface that displays the system log information on the reader and the access history of the reader. Diagnostics 
The Diagnostics page allows users to run a diagnostics test on their reader and display the report. Shutdown. The shutdown page allows you to restart the reader, shut down the reader server, or reset the reader to its default settings. Logout. And finally, Logout, which simply allows you to log out of the FX9600's web UI. Now we're going to read UHF RFID tags in the web UI. Click on the Read Tags page and simply hit Start, and you should start to see tag reads appear immediately. Thank you so much for watching this video about unboxing, setting up, and reading UHF RFID tags with the Zebra FX9600 UHF RFID Reader. For more information on the Zebra FX9600, visit this reader's product page. That link is on screen now. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more RFID videos just like this one.